Hello everybody and welcome back to another stream! Uh, today we're going to be playing some Sucker for Love 2. I played the demo not too long ago and I'm just super excited that the full game released actually really recently. Uh, just the other day actually. Um, the moment I saw that it released and I was like told by like, a few different people, I immediately bought it. And now it's just, I'm super pumped to be able to play that today. Uh, I was originally thinking like, oh, I'll play one of the other games that some of my friends actually gifted to me. Actually, let me lower that. Um, for my birthday, that also happened fairly recently. But I was like, oh my god, let me play this before anything else. This literally just came out. And I was absolutely, like, it, it got my heart pumping when I had to manually, like, turn the doorknob and open the door in the demo. So I'm really excited for this. All right, let's jump straight on into it. Into the main. Let me bump that up. I don't know the specific triggers that this game is going to have. Um, let's see. Settings. Yeah, do we want, do we want uh, warnings before jump scares? Nah, we're just going to let them happen. We're just going to let them happen. And then I'm just going to move this to my other screen. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's jump straight on into. Oh, why is my hands there? There are my hands. Actually, I'm gonna move this back. All right, let's jump straight on into it. I'm super excited. New date. Oh. <laughs> Survive chapter one to unlock. All right, let's do chapter one. Ooh, ooh. One thousand versus the one. <laughs> Okay. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. I do like how they adjusted the art. Their twisted, fanatical followers require mm. no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is not an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. Oh, I can't just hit space. Alright, I gotta actually click on it with my mouse. <laughs> stars become <laughs> empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. Okay. Something scary happen? <gasps> in the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh, just the strange dream is all. I'm alright. Oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Sacramento. Oh no, I, th I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately. Waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Startled. Started, started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods. Animals with too many features. Watching. Outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the townsfolk's unblinking purple eyes. A Sacramento stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started, but a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey Stardust, Mom's still pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you came by for a visit, you'd know he'd cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. This is definitely my father's handwriting, my only, and only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom... Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year, but whoever sent this note 
obviously wants me to come poking around, and I aim to find out why. Something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirits, it's all connected. I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. Sacramento. This should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. They call this Missing Person Lane now. Desperate searchers put up the posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left, and leads straight to my Graham's house. But something feels off. The familiar landmarks on my, of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No. I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls and addresses. Still lost. But maybe if I check the note my parents for the address? A grocery receipt? Huh? Impossible. I just had read their letter. I even had my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Wait. This receipt has the exact dimensions and fold as the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? No, impossible. I check back and then double check the front. But the receipt main remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out. I have to run. I have to- Hey! Ow! Uh, are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzerama! I said right into somebody coming the other way. Oh! I'm sorry, are you alright? I should have been more careful. Oh, she's really pretty. Well, what on earth is this girl doing or wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't touch me. Sorry. I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse. I was just in a rush. Oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Uh huh? What? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all of these accusations coming from? I don't anyone know anyone by the name of Buck. Huh? <laughs> really? You don't know who Buck is? You're not late. From out of town, are you? The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. I can't let her see my eyes, no matter what. She'll notice I she'll she'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. You can tell me. <laughs> are you from here or what? I live here oh yeah look at me really quick this is bad even if i make it home she'll know where i live what what do i do oh hello i freeze before i know it i'm already staring straight at her <laughs> Bucky, hi. got another one for you at missing person lane i break into a mad dash running my hardest everything's a blur my heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commo commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down, but the image on my face, on the next missing post person's poster, kicked my legs into action once more. There, a clearing up ahead. If I can break their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turn-off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or it's too dark to find my way... I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Running the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house. Thank goodness. I dash up the, pass, the path and burst through the door. I hold the door shut for what feels like forever as my pulse slows. The pounding footsteps pass by outside. 
I'm safe. For now. <sighs> hey, what's... I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up is long gone. Grew up in is long gone. Can't put my finger on it, but... This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is somebody here? Hello? No response. Uh, can I save, please? No, I can't save. I can't save, Scummit. Oh, God. I just carefully open the door. Can I pretty pl- I can't save it! Huh? Our family photos look off. None of them have me in it, and my siblings? Their faces seem unfamiliar. What are those weird symbols doing here? Let me check the map. That's not the direction I gotta go. Plus... There's uh, blood on there. I probably shouldn't go that way, right? Right? I'm curious. Uh, It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Oh my goodness gracious. Cripes, what a mess. This place has been turned upside down, but nothing's missing. Weird. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same text. Alright. I'm gonna just try and go straight for it. <sighs> I gotta turn this way. Yeah? What's that? It's probably fine. Enter! Oh. Oh, wait, the stairs are right there. I'm an idiot. I gotta turn around. I go a little further back, and I gotta completely turn around. No, wait. Here. And I gotta go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. There we go! Hmm. Let me turn around. Ha ha ha! I've made. Oh, yeah, come on. Where's my mouse? Where's, where's my. Where, oh, there we go. Let's get on in there. My room. What on earth happened here? This occult nonsense. Has someone been living in my house? The candles are still lit. Whoever's responsible was just here. But who? Why? This book isn't mine either. No title, no author, and it reeks of death and decay. The trembling fingers are uh. into our. Ugh. Which one of you was it? Which one of you was it? I heard a noise. I heard a noise. Where is it? Hmm. I opened it to a random page. Seed of Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest. Hello, skeleton shmoney. Welcome to the stream. 
Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. The beating what? I read and I reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods. And now this? The truth dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by some angry forest spirits. They've been abducted. And I'm next. There must be a way to stop this. I split desperately through the book, pulse the book's pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the Old Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind the, this madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't directly harm me. This is it, my chance to end this nightmare once and for all, to face the sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this all mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. What's the spell? To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candles. Get out of here. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. Oh. It looks like an idol of a goat. Only has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton, too. Let's just get up the stairs. Well, that, that's also set. Have a plant mister with you. Well, where's, uh... Yoink! You found the plant mister! At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear. And you can spray the speaker with water by right-clicking. This will interrupt whatever they were doing or saying. This feature was primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women, such eldritch abominations, but it has other uses too. Sprays the... Sprays the... The goat... Uh... Elder like, with water like bad cat. Bad. Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> yeah, funny addition, funny addition. Uh while well, facing a tree of the Blackwoods chanter name. Well, I mean that's that is indeed a tree. Mortal, you dare summon me again? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? Have your lusts not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? My heart pounds as, inten as an intense, towering figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think. I can barely breathe with the weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the Roxanne. black goat of the woods. Through this day. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each second that passes. It's evil, ancient and endless, peering into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen. I'm about to root. <laughs> Dangerous ground, little lamb. Know that each time you summon me, my wrath grows. But I didn't summon you the other times. I will make each second of agony you have inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? I have to banish her, to send her back before there's nothing left of me. But the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl. With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came, why I dared this folly. I swallow bile and terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from the floor, and speak shakily. I I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. I'm sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of, one way or another. Really? Um, yeah? Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. Um, aren't you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. My brow fur furrows as I stare at her, wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know, spread madness and whatnot? You're confused. 
Well, yeah. You want to be exercised? <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. Don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just tried to kill me, I might add. Can't they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please, help me. I rub my temple. This is tricky. On one hand, I came here to banish her. The corrupted forest is devouring this town, and who knows how much farther it'll spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have serious reservations about helping an eldritch god do something. All those missing people posters. She's responsible. She and her cultists are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. Alright, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... Mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. But that book you carry... It holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. First things first. You will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust, so many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Okay. Boop. Wait a minute. Uh, let the ritual candles color the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Let's see all the colors. Horrible. Have your choice of an aromantic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. So these followers are kind of like jealous sex boyfriends then? You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes. Precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Interesting. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Gulp. Gorge. <laughs> Maybe I should get back to the rituals then. That's probably a good idea. Oh, there we go. I will take lavender. I was like, where are they? Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Okay. Heh. <laughs> Wait, I can't explain! Go ahead. I've got nothing! What is wrong with my taste? <laughs> There's no need to be bashful. Especially after all that time you spent playing coy. <clears throat> In view of the circumstances, hmm. perhaps hmm. I will allow you to be my partner. Oh, really? And that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, it's sudden. It'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. Good job. <laughs> but I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Hmm. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? They were talking about just being my girlfriend. <laughs> Two definitions of partners of a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning. Hmm. There's three meanings of partners. What's the third? Cowboys. Yeehaw! Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero. 
is zero. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Nope. And you, you aren't with child now? No. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. What? 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 I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just not going to help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Those that best serve that goal. Receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans. Rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained the life from your body? And then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out. Hmm. I take an involuntary step backwards. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you alright? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Powers now. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. Holy freaking moly! That was freaking scary. She is really taking this hard. I'd better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Alright, what's the next ritual? The feast. Bring meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Check meat rack in dining room. Milk of the black goat. Store bought two percent is apparently fine too. It's in the fridge. Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood. They meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. Chant while facing red fire can I will in the meantime Okay that that'll just be there. Time to get Meat Rack Dining Room Milk Uh here we go. Adventure away Okay. So I need to get oh it, it literally just highlights it for me still all right so i need to go that way yeah yeah down the stairs and i gotta go this way yes one more Aha, here we go. Another. Get it over with. Ah! Why must you do me so? Okay, dining room, baby. Hmm. I tear a hunk of meat off the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Wherever it came from. It was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the hooks. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a ragger, baby. Right round, round, round. Hey, I'm facing the correct direction. Ooh, spices. Unusually pungent spices. Blah, blah. Pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon, to name a couple of I see. They're almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. But what if I what if I want them? Let me let me grab them. This is the milk of the black goat, which looks like, like regular carton of store bought strawberry milk. With a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne. Now that their relationship is soured. No pun intended. Mm. This should be good enough. Can I pretty please take the spices? Aww. Anyway.
Uh, no. Uh, wait. Hmm? Oh, no, that's to get out. I don't want to... Wait. Hey, was there something else I was supposed to get? Oh, blood! I'm an idiot. And there'll be blood, blood, and gallons of the stuff, though, before you could drink it, it could ever be enough. Go get my blood, blood, blood. Anyway. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. B blood. And an unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for. A chill just ran up my spine. Am, am I being watched? I have everything I need. I just need to get out of here fast. Uh, 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 I did goodbye, goodbye. I got uh, get me out of here. Okay, then I'm gonna go this way. Swapping it up a little bit. I'm getting it. And here we go. Okay. Ah, oh, well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. I... um... I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a little god would bother apologizing to a human after all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. You see... If you step within range of my woods, any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Lust. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento stare and becomes a cultist. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand. And your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. You'll forget to eat and sleep. And you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? I pulled the receipt out of my pocket. I'm looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in this house. But once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and it won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents. But the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. So, they're just... still gone. They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I, think, I don't think I've eaten since I've gotten the letter, either. I take a few bites, and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be alright, Stardust. How do you know this word? Stardust? How did you know my parents took me for Anything me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. I guess that settles it. My parents are really gone. That's the only way she could have known that name. This isn't... The kind of closure I was hoping I'd find here, but I came here to put an end to the disappearances, and that's what I'll do. Um, I hope this isn't a f an offensive question, but all the missing people and the people that come looking for them—you, you killed them all. It was never supposed to be like this. 
I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother. Hungerlessness. Disease immunity. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty. And I'm forced to watch innumerable die. But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much to hate in their hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Already? No, 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 no! I forgot. Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear. For her sake. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. I take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. They left my bass guitar untouched. I'll check it out. Sounded like it came from the kitchen. Oh! Uh, can I? Oh, I can't save it. Oh, this is, this is, this is now past the, um... Oh boy, here we go! This is now past the demo. For the fortnight and the cola. Yippee. I don't want any damn promotion. Okay, so far so good. Here. We. Go! No one's here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Could've just been house settling, like I said. And I knocked them out cold. They made so much noise I can't afford to stick around, but I feel good about letting this maniac up, wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere and keep an eye on them. Why is that knife covered in blood? I can't for the life of me find a wound anywhere on the body. And I certainly don't feel any pain either. I grab a hold of the scruff of the cultist color and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, but my left arm can't produce any force. What's going on with... What was that? That vision. No matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back. Just like the fake letter I received. Are these what's concealing my injuries from me? So I can't tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my base over my shoulder by its strap and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I'm sure this would be torture if I could feel any pain or exhaustion. Oh, I can't swing the base right now. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. What is that? Bass guitar. Not that. The dead body. Oh, they're alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive, and then brought them here. This is very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice <laughs> if you need one. What did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human participants. 
Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. Hmm. I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load-bearing post in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Maybe. But under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. I could never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back. The mask is snug against the cultist's face. But with a firm yank... Her? Nanny! You? Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane! <laughs> hey. Sheesh. Maybe I bonked you in the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the Thousand, Buck, has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. <sighs> hey, don't try to wriggle out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. Again. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long gone. It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away... Don't turn your back on her for too long. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Hey, if you just stay put for now, then I can let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. <sighs> I sigh and return the mask to her. First things first, I need to do something about my arm. To heal your injuries, place a goat skull over your face and light green fire candles. Ensure the symbol is drawn nearby and face a mirror. Uh, if the intended target isn't the caster and isn't deceased, draw the symbol and instead face them. You need to face a mirror? Where's a mirror? Mostly left it alone. And face a mirror, but I don't I don't have a mirror. How do I find a mirror? Wait, everything I need is already in this room. Where's a mirror? What is stupid? Alright, that should do it. Oh, okay, I guess the mirror part didn't matter. I inspect my arm, but I still can't tell whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm not still bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Hey, um... Your name is Nani, right? I'm going to give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual too. But that lump aches, huh? The one you gave to me? I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just defending myself. Look, you're hurt. Let me help patch you up and we'll call it even. Like, Deal? Barf me out. Here, now chant. Bottom of the page. Do it. Better? This is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free. Then, you're toast for real. Hmm. 
this ritual. Yuck. What a gruesome looking What's ritual. Wrong? Nothing. Just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. Looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in order the to make made immortal by my influence. When you die, the seed will bloom, leaving something good in the world long after you've passed away. That's kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? I do. While I don't like thinking about dying, it's kind of comforting thinking part of me will live on. You know? Well, the same could be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Hmm. Sheesh, all the grandkids talk. You're just like my mom. I can work with that. Bet. Kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. That's still more than half serious. But then again, living forever is something best done through offspring. Experiencing it yourself. You mean like what you did to my Bucky? He brought that upon himself. You cursed him. He was your most devout follower, and you cursed him. Wait, curse? One of my followers, the leader of the Thousand, stole a kiss from me long ago and became immortal. No matter what happens, he will still exist. Forever. How is that a curse? I can use immortality right now. Wouldn't it be nice to live no. forever? Um, I mean... Immortality is certainly not living forever. The pain you feel after fatal wounds becomes permanent, lifelong agony. For instance, if a human drowns, they feel indescribable fear and pain for seconds, maybe minutes at worst, and then are swept away by the mercy of death. Imagine your ex being immortal, though, also I- Oh, man. Man. But I will say, though, um, this version of immortality sucks. Like, you get an actual injury, that just stays. And you just don't die. And you feel it. All the time. You're immortal, but you're not impervious. You're not impenetrable. You're just you. You just can't die. That sounds like hell. Sounds like being a geriatric- Basically! And also, like, does your body age with you? Do you constantly continue to age and still exist without the capacity of death? Like, that sounds awful. That just, just, just straight out just sounds awful. An immortal human would continue to drown, thrashing and screaming soundlessly until hope came. If it came. Live forever to experience infinite pain. Yeah, that sounds awful. So, for a mortal human to be cursed with cosmic permanence... Immortality is terror beyond death. Buck realized this, and is tormenting me until I take it back. How come you don't just take it back then? Wouldn't they let you go if you did? If cosmic permanence was something that could be undone. It wouldn't be permanent, would it? <gasps> when Bucky finds you, when he gets his hands on you- If Bucky this, if Bucky that, who gives a shit about Bucky? He's late in the thousand, he's making people go bye-bye. Try to kill you. Buck is already here. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. That's not good. A voice from the other side of my bedroom door? I didn't even hear him coming. Bucky! Buck! They're here. Hello in there. Yo, what's that voice though? It would appear that you have my book, my nanny, and my god inside that room with you. I got a bad feeling. The good news is, you're holding all of the cards. As long as Nanny is unharmed. Ch she's fine. I just tied her up. If that's so, then it looks like we can make a deal. If you let us in, we'll take Nanny and go. What? No way! Once that door's open, I'm going missing for sure. <laughs> Do you realize the situation you're in? We can storm in and take the book, the girl, and the god by force. Then, how come you haven't done it already? You might get a lucky shot on one of us before you died. Like I assume you did, Nanny. And if the injury Did we just true, step into an NTR? I don't know! <laughs> Nanny, yeah. <laughs> All of that is too much risk over you. Right. 
And so you'll just let me waltz on out of here. There's dozens of people trapped in our woods every week. It means nothing to us if you escape. Even if I go straight to the police and tell them everything? <laughs> the police are already here. Did I just hear a fucking uh, gun? Did I hear a little uh ka chick? Open the door and you can keep Roxanne and the book. And if you don't, you know what will happen. I just have you to have give 20 seconds to make your choice. Um, I'm gonna take the mask. Um, uh, duh, uh, uh. Oh, that was a bad idea. Yep, yeah. Alright, let's go. I, I should have called it. Bad end. That's it. Should do it. Is that right? Yep, 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 yep. What? 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 I... Just gonna... My god, your character even has the eyes. I choose death. <laughs> yeah, I already saw it. I already saw it. I already saw it. You got spritz. Hey, we know, we know, um, he lies. We know he lies. Open the door. Uh. What the hell? Can I, can I take, won't be enough to protect me. What the hell am I supposed to do? Wait, 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 wait. It's gotta... Uh... Stop. You'll hit the book. I quickly leap back from the door, waiting the onslaught of the cultists, but instead I hear footsteps retreating. Fast. Are you alright? I pat myself down quickly. If I got hit, it wasn't enough to make me lose consciousness. That'll have to do. Oh, they killed her! What gives? Why aren't they running away? Did I do something to scare them you off? you have to leave this room eventually. So they're waiting to ambush you. Don't let your guard down. They could be anywhere. Ensure there are no lit candles in the room with you. Face any plant in the room with your spawn partner present. Chant. Eat it. What? Uh, do do do. Oh, I have to do the pot of a plant which grew underwater with an even in death. Find and consume the following in order: the pot of a plant which grew underwater, raw meat of an animal that died within the black woods, the pot of a flower that. Uh, uh let me let me uh, let me start with this. And it won do 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 do. Wrong symbol. What? It's the right symbol. So what's the other one? Look up too fast. No. Oh, yeah. don't matter. I mean, uh, they could even be in this room. I mean, I'd assume you're supposed to gain permanence as well. And then the two of you mercilessly glare at each other for all eternity. They'd probably be good at it. Yeah, I could see that. 
Anyway, uh, do do do. They safely approach the heart of the woods. They're from the uprooting. The effects are not reversible even in death. Find and consume the following in order. The pot of a plant. Which means I'm gonna have to probably... This won't be enough to protect me. Ah. I can't talk to her. I hate the fact that I, like, just can't save it. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So I take it, I'm just gonna have to memorize where everything is. Bathroom. Okay. Then when I think it's this thing's a plant, it probably counts. My bath's ceramic, I think. Nothing a plant could grow on, so I can only imagine what the plants are actually growing out of under this murky water. The leathery seedling tears off with little resistance. I tried to chew it, but it's hard as rock. Something is off about the taste of it, too. I managed to force it down. Whatever it was, I don't think it was poisonous. But I feel kind of sick now. I better get a move on. Okay. Raw meat of an animal that died within the Blackwoods. Oh, I gotta get all the way over there. Okay. Let's leave the bat. Is there anything that I can... Very speedy products of an encounter. None of these are mine. I get no weapons? Come on. Give me at least the bass guitar back. Okay. Hoo-cha! I didn't need to come out here. Go to the hallway. No awesome base cell is my only weakness. <laughs> I was actually able to swing that thing around. Okay. Go down the stairs. We gotta go this this way. Uh, let's try going slightly longer. Alright, time to see. Do I die? Nope. I'm gonna go this way? No, I'm not gonna go that way. Okay. Okay, this one's safe. I love how they, like, kind of, like, show you. Okay. Looks like I'm supposed to eat it raw this time. Yick. What are you doing in my swamp? I tear off a dripping morsel of the strange meat, pinch my nose, and shut and imagine it's beef tartare as I force it down. It leaves a metally aftertaste in my mouth, and it feels like something didn't go down quite right. I feel very sick all of a sudden. My stomach immediately starts to churn. I need to get out of here. Huh? What's this incredible smell? A rich, warm scent clouds my senses, settling my stomach almost instantly. I follow my nose. It leads back to the meat. Could it really be? Did I just get a bad first piece or something? I accidentally take another bite, and a wave of satisfaction washes over me. My appetite kicks into overdrive. I've never tasted anything like it. I ate a third piece, then a fourth, then a fifth, and it's like I've gone my whole life without eating until now. Seconds between bites feel like an eternity of withdrawal. Eventually, my hunger ab abates, but only after I striped it clean to the marrow. I need to get one last ingredient, the petal of a flower that grew in the black woods. I walk away, gnawing idly at the bone. Okay, it's probably safe. I can go this way. Okay, probably safe. Let's go straight to the hallway. Too bad there was no eggs to go with the green ham, right? Oh, shit! Nah, damn it! 
Aww. Mmm. I was doing so well. I ate meat. Womp womp. Okay, I was able to at least eat the meat. Ugh. Okay. Now it's a matter of just getting the hell out of here. Okay. So now I know how to tell between like a safe room and a not safe room. I gotta go this room. Nope, that one's not safe. Um, let's go this way. Nope. So that room's not. That room's not. That one's- that one's fine. Hey. We're good, we're good, we're good. Out of a flower that grew from the soil of the black woods. Ah, oh, damn it. That's not safe. That's where I have to go! Buff on the other side. By something purple. I can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Okay, maybe it's like with each time I go through a room. Try that again. Do I have to go? That's where I have to go, though. for a second. I'm thinking that it's just like... Oh, I'm like stuck going in there. Like, I don't have a way... Oh. There's other plants around, but none as radiant as the one where there must... <laughs> okay. They don't really have me surrounded. 
The last thing I need to eat before I complete the ritual. I pluck a petal quietly and toss it in my mouth. It tastes sweet, like honey. It leaves a numbing, unfamiliar sensation with my tongue, as if I'm tasting the very nature of the Blackwoods. Suddenly a sharp, bitter taste seizes me, and the sweetness vanishes. I try to spit out the petal, but I can't move. All I can do is look back at the flower and see how it and the surrounding plants seem to all be glowing, all the same direction towards me. The horror. My heart begins beating again. My conscience returns suddenly. I'm curled up on the ground in the corner of the room. My face is wet with tears, and I feel like several hours have passed. The flower is gone. Nothing remains of it but my vague memory. An inexplicable sense of dread. I'm just not gonna... Well, that was weird. Okay. Ensure there are no candles lit in this room with you. Face any plant in the room with your spawn partner present. I mean, there, there are plants. Chant. Well done. We're so close, I can taste it. I'm imagining someone turns around and you have to face full of flowers and everyone freezes staring at you. <laughs> this feeling of hope welling in my chest. So unfamiliar. I hate to disappoint you, but we're trapped in a pretty terrible situation. I'm not sure if escape is realistic at this point. I have no idea how many of them there are, and I know they're armed. I can't safely get out of this room anymore. The chances are I'm going to walk into one of their traps eventually. Even if I'm on the ground every minute of every ritual left. We may yet make it out of this. I know what ritual is next. As long as Nanny stays down, this will be easy. You know how I mentioned that we'll be in need of a sacrifice. The time has come. Sacrifice? Who, Nanny? Isn't she? She is still alive. Normally, one or two fatal injuries wouldn't be enough to kill her since she's one of the thousand. But, oddly enough, she's slipping away. We'll have to work quickly. Cold blood can't be used as a sacrifice. Should be sacrificed after all that's happened to her? I can't just leave her like this, right? No, uh, you can leave her. Hmm. Chant near your spawn partner. After chanting, immediately leave the room. Do not return early. Continue next page. Um. What? Isn't the caster and isn't the siege draw the symbol and said face them? Is there a symbol? Oh, green fire. She's still alive? The Thousand's tendency is just something what else. What have you done? Why did you heal her? He knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. You heard it too, right? He said to stop shooting because they'd hit the book. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Is it just me or is she acting different? Thanks for bringing me back. Or whatever. Huh? Thanks? Did she really just... Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what's her happening? Her desire for Buck was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. Really? She's not one of them anymore? Hey, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. Crisis of faith or not, she is still with the Thousand and just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands. 
I slipped the guitar straps off from around her wrist. There, how's that? I'm not gonna say thank you for releasing me too. You're the one who tied me up in the first place. I'm leaving. Bye. Stardust, we're going to regret this. Have a little faith in me. It'll be alright. Well, I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. Hmm. Anyway. Felt good about that. Wait, why did she take the mask? Anyway. If you are just death shy, follow these steps to avoid being targeted. Chant near your spawn partner. After chanting, immediately leave the room. Well, there's my spawn partner. Do not return early. Continue to the next page. What's on the next? There's nothing on the next page. All right. This room's fine. Okay. Nowhere within the Blackwoods is safe except for the heart of the woods. The hearts will hide them. You're sent from them. To avoid first bones on your way, avoid making eye contact. They will know if you saw them. Move quickly, but do not run. You will attract their attention. Be observant. Do not look at the next page until you've reached the hearts? Where the hell's the hearts? Okay. I don't know what the hearts is. No, I do know where I'm going. Oh. Okay. 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 My, is this it? I've done it. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the room until the candles go out on their own, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. Return to the room where the ritual began. Find what they left for you and chant three times to end the ritual. Okay. Let the candles go out on their own. So far, so good. Okay. 
Find what they left for you. What'd they leave for me? Aha! I got it. But what exactly is it? I open the sack. The contents are dark red liquid, thickly mixed with other darker fluid. It smells kind of like fresh wine. I close the sack up, ignoring the sight of the two bright red fingers floating on top. No time to recover from all this excitement. I've got to end this ritual. Ha 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 ha! How wonderful. Okay! With all of this fresh blood, we're as good as home free. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento Oof. behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean, remainder of my reality? I know it's a lot to take in, but because I'm an outer god, everything in this reality is my dream, including you. Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up. And this reality will end. But what happens to me when my reality ends? Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck continue to exist between dreams. But as for non immortals, Stardust. Occultist asked me the same exact question once before, when I gave him my answer. At first, he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused, as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then. As he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad. Until finally, he ran shrieking into the woods. And I never saw him again. Your answer was really that terrifying? I've gotta know. What happens to me once my reality ends? I don't know. Someone's coming. Is it Buck? To Nani spill the beans and say how close we are to fish finishing? I ready my bass guitar. This is it. Whatever happens, I can't fail here. For the sake, for my sake, in Roxanne's. Oh! Ow! What the hell was that for? Why you gotta spook me? Oops. <laughs> Hurry, get in here. She's back? Why? Because I'm leaving too. And the only way I'm getting out of here is if you finish your rituals. I gotta get back to my folks. And you do too. Especially thanks to the thousand. That's no longer a possibility for her. Oh. Um, were they... You know, did we... I take a deep breath and force a small smile. I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. And you saved me anyways? I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. It does? Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Huh? What are you talking about? I do not have kids. What do you mean? You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time. Inside my aura of desire, no less. How haven't the two of you had kids yet? Why don't you tell me? You're the space goat with magic powers hmm. or whatever. How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? Ruined everything? You two seemed pretty close before he, um, shot you? I mean, I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. Space Goat, coast Maybe to the coast. That's what I thought <laughs> all of this was gonna be. He told me that the black goat of the woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. But like, as soon as we did, he stopped talking to me. Oh. Between you and all the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or whatever. 
Guess that explains why Nanny thought I was here for Buck when we first ran into each other. For a second back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god, if he just got me back. But I guess I'm like... Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of other violent cult leaders out there. I'm sure we'll find the right one for you. <laughs> Thanks. But I think I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Here's everything you need for the next one. Saved you the trip. Aw, that's sweet. Really? To think she was returning just to help me. And so after this, reality will end eventually? <sighs> And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too. Most likely. So that makes me your dream girl, technically? Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. But yes, I suppose so. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool indeed. But it's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire Black Woods to burn down. So you'll need to run. To run. If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn too. Just how far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles. Two to <laughs> 60 whole miles! Oh! Doing this is gonna burn everything down within 60 miles? It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Okay. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole earth, turning every human into either a cultist. Just ten hours of running on average. Yeah, that's it's fine. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. Humanity has dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. So I just gotta run for it once this fire starts. Don't stop running. And leave the book behind to burn. If the thousand ever recovered it. They could seed the Blackwoods again. And this will all have been for nothing. But what if they save the book before it burns to ash? You're never gonna make it out anyways. The thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. Here, if you take my old robes and mask, you can like, slip right past them. I'll stay behind and make sure the book burns. Oh, no! But what about you? Won't they kill you if they see you without your cult stuff? As if. They know my face. If they see me running away, they'll let me go. Here. No, they won't. Try this on. I slip on the robes and tuck my head into the goat skull mask. If it's snugly. It fits. Do you know what that means? That the disguise will work? Oh, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. Can I totally raid your closet on the <laughs> way out? Because, like... I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I love your pastel goth look. So cool. Why is she so sweet? She's gonna die in a fire! Oh yeah, take whatever you want. It's all running to the ground anyway. Awesome! Start us now! We're so close to escaping! You can't throw it all away now by trusting her! If the book doesn't burn, all of this will be for nothing! No, I, th I think she's trustworthy. If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the Thousand. Both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. I got us this far, didn't I? She won't let you down now. What? She... <sighs> Alright, I just... I want this so badly. And I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. Come on, let's head on down to the root room and finish this. The root room, eh? Okay, I gotta take the ladder up. Which means I go down to that floor and there. If your relationship uh, has soured or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the black woods, the was the only way to rid the reality of them for now. She will cause the black woods to burn to ash and the hearts will return to your. Uh, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods once you've entered them. Have all the following on your person. Blood of at least ten human-sized living beings. Yeah. The seed of Rotblum with you, which I know I've consumed. A common flame accelerant like flower cinnamon cooking oil and a polish or hairspray. Yeah. 
Go to the heart of the woods while facing a heart chant. Whatever. But okay. Let's do it. The weird baby thing was kind of creepy. Okay. So far, so good. Go down the stairs. It's the end of the hallway. Okay. So far, so good. <gasps> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why you gotta do me like that? Ugh. God. Blech. have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so, so proud of you. I can't thank you enough. <clears throat> it's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again is the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. There she goes. It's like an oven in here already. Air frantic commotion. They must be Pass coming. The book? I look down at the purple ritual book, hearing Roxanne's worries echo once more through my head. I know what I'm doing. Here. <laughs> I didn't imagine the other night ending with me willingly handing over the book to you. Oh my god, right? Like, totally not what I expected at all. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the woods are all burning down, he'd probably give anything to have it back. If we went back to the thousand together, we could ask for anything. <laughs> no. Bet. Nanny! Kidding, kidding. I was just kidding. Jeez. Well, mostly. He takes a long look at the book before tossing it into hey, the fire. This is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. You're so cute. See ya. Your smile's really pretty. I wish you could have met somewhere else too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. Shoot, I wasn't expecting to have to talk my way out. Yeah, I'm totally. What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down. I do. Do I really have all of them fooled? That outsider must have completed the uproot ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Right. There's no way the book has burned all the way yet. Need to buy now any more time. Wait, it's like total. I'll I'll like totally get the book myself or whatever. Really, Tommy, you're amazing. You're a true believer. I can't believe you sacrificed yourself for all of us. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Right. Morons. Oh, come on! Come on!
I was doing so well. How wonderful. I was when I but the I was right there. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to make that bigger. There we go. She's I really wish I could do like a manual save. Time to go back there. Now, this one was safe. Why? Any good break is worth doing at least. Oh, screw you! <laughs> All right, you got me. You got me. You got me. No, we're not going back to the thousand. We're seeing this through. Okay. I made it. I survived the night. I've got a long way to go before I'm clear of the wildfire. But I'm ahead of it before the moment. I better be sure to ditch the robe and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for a cultist once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly as I watch my childhood home burn to the ground. The house crackles loudly as the wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, 
burying any cultists unfortunate enough to have been trapped underneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Wait, wh what's that? What's going on? Hi, another episode of Sucker for Love. Oh, uh, oh, coming up. oh. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. Damn it! it. Mine. Why'd you do it? Next time on Sucker for Love. House of Wax. I can't wait. Damn it, Nani. Nanny has left the thousand. Okay. Chapter one. Truant! Hey, yo! She did leave the thousand. She was just a sucker for a buck. Oh, I'm going to leave it there. Sucker for love. Date to die for. Because... That's been like an hour and a half. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in for this wonderful little, 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 streamy, weemy, dreamy boy. Anyway, hope y'all have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to continue playing some more Sucker for Love, A Day for to Die For sometime soon. This is a big year to die. I've been playing games. Make sure you're drinking water, eating well, taking care of yourself, the whole shebang. And I hope everyone has a wonderful morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, whenever people are watching the VOD after the fact. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I'm trying to wave so much. Ah.